Like New York City, Havana is here because of the harbor. It's deep and well protected and has a narrow entrance, so it's relatively easy to defend. And even better, ships that leave here can ride the Gulf Stream through the Florida Straits, up past Florida and the southeast coast, and on to Western Europe. 500 years ago this year, Spaniards first settled in Cuba. Then five years later, in 1519, a town was first established on this land. In English, the name was Havana. This fort is almost 500 years old, and it's topped by a wind vane that's been blowing in the wind there since 1632. Throughout the city, there are more and more magnificently restored buildings from centuries ago, with massive reconstruction projects underway everywhere you look. But there are many more buildings dangerously decaying and awaiting money for restoration. More than 40 collapsed in heavy rain late last year. Of course, Havana is famous for the cars and construction that take you back to the roaring 1950s when these American classics cruised the Malecon, the magnificent waterfront put in by the Americans after the Spanish-American War at the turn of the 20th century. Havana, of course, is right in the middle of Hurricane Alley, and a lot of hurricanes have come through this city and across Cuba in the last 500 years. So perhaps it's not surprising that hurricane forecasting science was born in this country, and it was over 140 years ago, and it happened right here at the College of Belen. In Havana, Cuba, I'm Brian Norcross, The Weather Channel.